In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Max 3100 Pulse Oximeter with Arduino and display the heart rate and blood oxygen on the 16 into 2 LCD. The heart rate or pulse rate or heartbeat is measured in BPM, which is also known as the beats per minute, while the blood oxygen concentration is measured in percentage. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company which is one of the most experienced PCB and PCB assembly manufacturer. They create high quality PCBs at reasonable prices. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBA official website. You can find a link in the description. So basically the MAX 3100 sensor is the pulse oximetry and heart rate monitor which is used to check the health of a person with any condition that affect blood oxygen levels such as heart attack, heart failure, lung cancer, asthma etc. No doubt the MAX 3100 pulse oximeter is an amazing sensor. Still it has some disadvantages. It may generate incorrect readings if the finger is not properly placed. The ambient light falling on the sensor can affect the final reading. While using the MAX 3100 oximeter, make sure your finger is not moving because it can result in an incorrect reading. One more thing that you really need to take care of while using the MAX 3100 sensor is that Never press the sensor too hard as this affect the blood flow and as a result you will get incorrect readings. Try to place your finger softly and make sure your finger does not move. This way you can get the most accurate reading. This is my first getting started tutorial on the MAX 3100 pulse oximeter which covers the extreme basics including number 1. MAX 3100 Pulse Oximeter Technical Specification Number 2 MAX 3100 Sensor Pinout Number 3 Interfacing MAX 3100 Pulse Oximeter Sensor with Arduino Number 4 Programming and finally Number 5 Testing Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The MAX 3100 is an integrated pulse oximetry and heart rate monitor sensor solution. It combines two LEDs, a photo detector, optimized optics and low noise analog signal processing to detect pulse oximetry and heart rate signals. There is another type of the MAX 3100 pulse oximeter. As you can see on the screen, this type of the oximeter has the sensors and electronic components all on the same side. Moreover, there are many complaints about this type of the sensor. I recommend you should purchase the one I'm using in this video. Because while using this sensor, you don't need to remove the resistors or solder any extra wires. As per the system block diagram which is available in the data sheet, it clearly shows that there should be small distance between the sensor and finger. The MAX 3100 operates from 1.8 volt and 3.3 volt power supplies. As you can see clearly, the GY-MAX 3100 pulse oximeter has a total of 5 male headers which are clearly labeled as VN, Ground, SCL, SDA and INT. This is an I2C supported sensor and communicates with the Arduino board through I2C communication bus. First, let's start with a very basic circuit diagram. 
As you can see, the VN and ground pins of the MAX3100 sensor are connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volt and ground pins. The SCL pin is connected with the analog pin A5. SDA pin is connected with the analog pin A4 while the INT pin is not connected. The libraries used in this project can be downloaded from my website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. This is a simple program which sends the BPM, beats per minute and blood oxygen values to the serial monitor. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this basic project in action. While the Arduino board is connected with the laptop, open the serial monitor. Select the desired board rate as specified in the programming. As you can see, I can successfully read the BPM and blood oxygen value percentage. Now let's print these values on the LCD. This is the modified circuit diagram. The MAX3100 pulse oximeter sensor connection with the Arduino remained the same. This time I added a 16 into 2 LCD. As you can see, pin number 1 and pin number 16 are connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 2 and pin number 15 are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. Pin number 3 is the contrast pin and is connected with the middle leg of the potentiometer. This is used for the LCD contrast adjustment. The RS pin of the LCD is connected with the Arduino's pin number 9. Read write pin is connected with the ground. Enable pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 8. Pins D4 to D7 of the 16 into 2 LCD are connected with the Arduino's pins 7, 6, 5 and 4. For the easy interfacing, I designed a PCB board for the 16 into 2 LCD module. This PCB is manufactured by the PCBA company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the Blake solder mask looks amazing. I am 100% satisfied with your work. I interfaced the LCD and makes 3100 pulse oximeter as per the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. This is the same exact program with a very little modification. I added the liquid crystal library and defined pins as per the circuit diagram. In the wide loop function, I added instructions for displaying the oxygen percentage and BPM values on the LCD. The circuit diagrams, libraries and programs can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.